Hello and welcome back. Today it's all about brows. Certainly is and we have some lovely little products to show you. Before we start doing our eyebrows, we're going to show you the general method for measuring your brows to ensure your product has good placement. So just get a little stick. You've got your little product there. So this is a little spatula we're going to use today and it starts at the corner of the nose, the nostril. So you get your stick or whichever you're going to use. You're going to bring the stick up from the corner of your nostril straight up. Any hair here at the centre, beyond your stick, wax it out or tweezer it out, it shouldn't be there. The start of the eyebrow is basically straight up from the corner of your nostril. Then you look at your iris, that's the coloured part of the eye. Take your stick from the corner of your nostril to the outer edge of your iris, that would be your arch there at the corner of the iris. Take your stick again, corner of the nostril, all the way out and that is where the eyebrow should end. If you have hair growing right down please remove it because it should end just there at the corners. So it's always your straight lines, one, two, three. However, the iris rule and the end of the eyebrow rule always apply. This rule does not always apply because sometimes people have flared nostrils or wide nostrils. Therefore, if your nostril is wide, you really don't want to take off too much eyebrow because however much space is there in the centre is how wide your nose will look. So ignore that rule if you have wide or flared nostrils. Yeah, don't go tweezing them. <laughs> don't tweezer them because it will make the nose look big. It will be a very, very odd look. So that is just a general rule of thumb. There's lots of other methods for mapping your eyebrows, which I mean, just takes forever. So Shilpa, you've got a lovely product here to show us. I do. This is the Urban Decay Brow Box and I love this, this is my all time favourite. It's got the wax there and it has the two shades of brown. So the darker would be for the arch and then towards the end and the lighter is for the inner parts of the eyebrow. And the little kit here with the magnifying mirror, <gasps> mm. Teresa's favourite thing. And you've got two angled brushes and a set of tweezers there. No woman Mini should tweezers. ever look into a magnifying mirror. Um, I'm going for a very natural look just to enhance the shape and the frame of my face. Light feathery strokes and starting at the arch with the lighter shade for now and then building up to the darker shade. Okay, and then just brush it through with the spoolie just to tidy it up and that's done. That's lovely and actually there really is a big difference isn't yeah, there? Yeah it's just a very natural look mm. and I didn't want anything too No fancy. but it really fills in beautifully. Do you know what I love about this product too? You can really play with those two browns to get the depth and the tone you want to yes, achieve. Yes, absolutely. Beautiful. You could also use this wax to set it afterwards. Yeah. But I like to use it as a... As you're going as along. You, yeah. So you feel you've got a lot more control then, yeah. don't you? It's beautiful. Well, the, from one beautiful controlling product to a product that I don't think we have enough control over. This is the number seven Beautiful Eyebrows Tinted Gel. And it's about £12, I think. It does set the eyebrow beautifully. The gel sets it all in place. It doesn't flake. It doesn't dislodge. It literally is there until you remove it at night time. I think I've probably gone for the wrong colour. Uh, it would have been better if I got a light brown. This is a dark brown. But however, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how you would apply They're it. They're very popular at the moment, aren't they? The brow gels. 
very popular, but I do think you have got to get the colour right. Yes. Because you will notice this is too dark for me. The only thing <laughs> it's I... It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. What's the comedian's name? Max, whatever his name is. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about the tinted gels, when you compare them to pencils and to the waxes, is you, I don't think you have enough control over it. And you, sometimes you need that control to introduce definition, which we will speak about later. So I'm going to apply this onto my eyebrow and no laughing. <laughs> so here's a brush. It's a lovely little fine brush. It reminds me of the Benefit brush, the Benefit yes. Gimme Brows. Yeah. So it is beautiful. My fault, I got too dark. So here we go. So we're just going to introduce it. Now you'll see why I don't like it. Even it has got a fine brush. Sometimes you will notice it goes onto the skin on the top. So that is why I don't like it. That wouldn't happen with your wax or with your pencil. Yes, because like as you say, you'd have mm. a lot more control. So again, you could use your spoolie and just spread out that colour a little bit. But uh, I'm not really a fan of the gels. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, it would have been better with a lighter one, but I, I still I think it's prefer. It's always tricky with liquid. Yeah, liquid can be your best friend or it can really go against you. But I've noticed, I've been trying to play with this quite a bit and it, a lot of it does go on the skin. And really... It can be a little bit blotchy. Maybe for a thicker eyebrow. To maybe. Set it yeah, to set to it. And to enhance yeah. the colour, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It'd be good. Okay, so my next one is by Highbrow. And this has one shade of brown and it's got the highlighter there. It also has the stencils, which I've never used. No, <laughs> I don't think I'd be inclined to use no, it either. But what I do like about this is I love the highlighter. Um, I'm going to demonstrate on this brow. I've got to be very careful with this because it is quite a dark colour. Mm. So just very, very light feathery strokes. And I'll be using my brush. There is a brush in here, but I'll use mine. I always find the brushes, done. they give you a little bit too big. This is quite thick, actually. Mm. Let me show you. Compared big. to my little one. Mm. I do love that highlighter. It's beautiful. Yes. And it it's always lovely. important to get the highlighter under so that gives your brow more definition. Yeah. So I'll demonstrate and I'll do using the same technique. over it with the spoolie and the highlighter so I can use the brush for the highlighter so I don't mind the thicker brush for that voila very nice I think the the light um, highlighter it really makes a difference doesn't it yeah you just need a tiny bit and that it enhances lovely. the eyebrow That's shape super. Well, onto my revolution, yeah. XXX. This is the greatest little find of the last month. It's wonderful. Super, super skinny pencil, which allows you to mimic the microblading. It really is Looks beautiful. It's lovely. It's so fine, isn't it? Very fine. And the packaging, packaging is, is beautiful. beautiful. And it clicks on. It's lovely. Yeah, so It'll it keeps click. it airtight and mm. it stops the colour from drying yeah and also for me the best thing is it doesn't it stays on we're all fed up with tops coming off in our makeup bags the next minute you have crayon everywhere or color everywhere and the other side there's a spoolie yes which is great. wonderful yeah. i love this i think this comes in 10 colors it's cruelty free vegan and it's just the best thing ever and i think it was seven pound bargain Brilliant. So what colour have you gone for? This is warm brown and it's very, very light. You'd think it'd be like dark, like the gel, but it's not. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. 
So I'm going to bring the eyebrows up with the spoolie that is provided. And now I'm going to start very lightly with light feathers filling in because I have very sparse eyebrows. In some places there is no hair growth. So I'm just going to start gently filling in what's there and building it up. When you want to build up eyebrows like mine, which are sparse and several gaps, get the colour on the skin, not the hair. Oh, always, yeah. Very important. So off we go. Now there is a way you can do this. It's called the three dot method. As we showed you with this, this and this, you can do your dot here, your dot up here on your arch and your dot here where it ends. But I will show you that in a tick. So basically we're just going to start filling in now this look I'm doing is just a kind of natural I always think it's nice look. to follow the natural arch yeah. and a natural yeah. look. Now that's not terribly wow, that's just a that very... That's great, yeah. Yeah, but I prefer the colour to this than yes. this. This is far too dark. Yeah. So in a minute what we're going to do is we're going to do extreme eyebrows. So I'm going to make this extreme with high definition, Ooh. which will look good for night time. Yes. And Shilp is going to do the same with hers. I'm going to use my brow box the, with the wax. Yeah. So the the light, we're going to borrow Shilp's lovely and light yes, colour. Yes, the highlighter. And we're going to get Let's that stop. on. I'm going to pop this on. When you're doing the light, it's a really good idea to bring it up, follow that line. And when you're doing the inner corner of the eye, bring it up, up, up. So you've got that whole definition going on. And then once you get your eyebrow on, that's when you can blend it down so you don't just have the white streak. So off we go. Three dots coming up. So with this one, you would do a line underneath and a line on the top. So with me, I'm going to use my brush and my brow box with the wax and the colours and I won't be putting any lines in because I like to use the feathery strokes and I'll be highlighting at the end. Ooh, very nice. And yours. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah. So, it. which eyebrow do you like best on me? This colour is much nicer. This is me. a great colour, and I think it's, that's why they do 10 colours in this Revolution XXX. I think this gives me more definition. You can actually see the arch better yeah, here. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. I, I just prefer that, and I like the colour. So, what do you think? And mine. I like this one. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's got the highlighter. Yeah. Well, mind really you, that's like got that. a little bit of highlighter. Yeah. This is more defined. I like that definition. I do like definition. Yeah. But we have lovely little fixing gels. Yes. For those of us that don't have the gel on incorporated into the product. So this, again, is the XXX, the Revolution, cheap as chips. It's meant to be clear. As you can see, I've been playing with it, so it's gone a bit brown from my eyebrow products. This will set your pencil all day long. It's wonderful. Just wonderful. They're great because your eyebrows do move, like you touch your face and then... Yeah, and your hair sometimes knocks against, and these really set it beautifully. I love these little things. And you can pay over £20 for them. 
So, you know, they do go from, you know, fiver up 20 pound really plus. Nice. Yeah. I just love them. And then you just pop it into place and that won't budge. Once that, that dries, it's there. That actually looks lovely there. Yeah. I really like lovely. it. And I've got the elf here. Um, this actually has one end for the lashes and one end for the brows. And I'll use mine on my defined side. And the one, the side for the lashes, that kind of separates the lashes and gives it a nice dewy look. If you don't want to wear mascara, you can just pop that on just sets your eyelashes beautifully especially if you have eyelashes that curl the wrong way or are growing the wrong way that actually will set them into place it's wonderful it's lovely it's great yes really like these my pet hate is mm. when the arch is over um, yeah accentuated yeah it's, it just looks so odd like a startled look yeah. so be careful not to do that because also it can make your eyes look a bit puffy yeah. So yes. be careful with that. Yeah. <laughs> and then because you've over arched it, you have to start using all the makeup and you're right, it looks puffy and it's too much. <laughs> so go easy. I think it shouldn't be so much an arch, but an arc. Yes, nice an arc. arc. Yes. So that's the buzzword for the day. Keep the eyebrows as natural as looking as possible and arc them, don't arch them. <laughs> Please remember to share us with your friends and family and ring that bell and subscribe. And if you've got any favourite um, products for the eyes, your eyebrow pencils, your gels, your waxes, could you let us know? Because we'd like to have a little play with them, whichever ones you think are really good. And thank you for joining us and we'll see you the next time. Meanwhile, take care. Bye bye.